hello guys welcome to youtube you should know tv channel today in this video i'll be showing you how to download install and run wordpress on your local machine so please follow the step that i'm going to show you and you will be able to run wordpress on your local machine first open your browser and type vamp server as we will need vamp server to run our wordpress on local machine so open it and download the BAMP server on your, lo on your local machine so you need to check which operating system that you are you using so for that wait, what you can do is you can go to my pc and then click on properties there you will see my system is 64 bit you might be 32 bit as well so please check before downloading the vamp server and you will be ready to go so as my system is 64 bits so i will be downloading vamp server 64 bits that is php 5.5 so as i have already downloaded the software on my machine so I'll be installing this, double click on this, click on OK, then next, I accept the agreement, next, as the default location says it's C, under VAMP, so I need a desktop icon as well, so I'm check, checking this option, click on next, then install, wait till the software installs. And I'll be showing you how we can use the Swam server to run WordPress on our machine. I would say rather uploading your WordPress site directly on your server on a global server for practicing would be a bad idea. So I would suggest you guys to first practice WordPress tips and techniques on your local machine so that you would be able to upload your website in a single go as our software is about to install so please be with me so now it says please use your default browser if you want if you're not sure please click open so if as it says I need to choose my browser where I want to run WordPress on my local machine. So you might have Internet Explorer on your machine, Mozilla or Google Chrome. So I'll be using Google Chrome on my machine to run this. So on inside C, local drive C, you would find Google and I need Google Chrome. So I would be clicking on Chrome application and Chrome.exe file. Click on open. It's saving the details I have saved that I would run my WordPress on Google Chrome so SMTP save it and let it be as localhost and leave it as as it is click on next launch VAM server 2 now so we'll be launching the VAM server now click on finish yes so now you can see a look, an icon over here that says VAM server is offline, the green icon. Click on this and click on local host. So now you, you would see if everything goes fine then you will see this page. For the very first time that when you install vam server on your on your system so it says apache version or this and that all the details that we will be using in later videos so right now what i'm concerned about is i need to click on this and i will be opening my php my admin i so let this open and we will be creating 
a database over there that we will be using our in our WordPress. So now we have entered in PHP my admin. So now in this area we will be creating a database. Click on the database, naming our database as you should know TV. Say it remain it as collation and click on create database you should know tv has been created now you can see we have created our database over here so we will be proceeding next to download wordpress that we will be using to host our website on a local server so click on now search wordpress we need to download the wordpress so wordpress download click on this option click on this link sorry so you would see over here that says download wordpress 4.1 and it says they are two files dot zip and dot dar so nothing matters as dot tar is a more compressed version of so we'll be downloading dot zip file that is 6.4 mb so as i have already downloaded the wordpress as well on my system now you can see that i have wordpress on my system as well as i have extracted the folder wordpress 4.0 so i'll be using this okay so right now we have installed our vamp server on on the machine and we have downloaded the wordpress as well so the next step would be to locate the vamp server as be in the c drive you can see a vamp folder click on that folder and there will be a folder called www what you need to do is you need to press all you need to paste all what you need to do is you need to copy and paste all your wordpress files in this folder so we will be doing so, so please see what i'm going to do now so what i'm going to do is i i'm going to copy all the files that are there is in the wordpress folder over here so Control a to copy all the files on windows system now we need to copy all the files and we will be pasting these files in our vamp folder in c drive you need to go into vamp and then click on www in this location you need to paste all the files that you have copied from wordpress folder so wait till the files get copy copied click on replace the files in the destination so now we have our wordpress files copied over this location so the next step that will be so now what we need to do is we need to click on the vamp server so click on this and click on restart all services as soon as you do you would notice the vamp server icon is changing the colors so let it be green which means we can use it so click on this and click on localhost let's see whether our wordpress is working or not so right now we can see here uh, it says welcome to wordpress so before proceeding we need for the uh, few things that is database name database username password and database host so click on let's go so on this page uh, it says database name as we have created our database earlier so we will be using that name here that was you should no tv in the case of username if you are if you have installed vamp server and wordpress for the very first time keep it as root and on the password leave it as blank and database host leave it as local host as it is and click on submit so it says uh, we have done with the installation so right now we need to click on run the install so the screen the wordpress is showing us it says we need to enter some information that a site title 
we'll be using you should know TV for the, in case of the username username we will be using our username to log in in our WordPress every time we log out from our WordPress once it get once it gets installed so in the case of username we will be entering you should know TV as well in the case of password I would suggest you please remember your password because every time you try to log in into the WordPress system you will you would require this in case of your email ID enter your email ID over here and click on install WordPress so right now the system is installing our WordPress and making it ready to use so it says WordPress has been installed and our username is this and the password that we have entered in the previous step let's say let's see how we can log in in the case of username we'll be using the username that we have entered before that was you should know TV and in case of password we'll be using our password click on login as you can see that we have entered in our WordPress admin side so from this admin panel we will be creating a full-fledged website so before ending this video I would like to tell you one more thing which is the most important thing in our WordPress folder we had we have a file called vpconfig.php file this is the most important file regarding the regarding WordPress so when we open this file we can see this it automatically saved our database name over here as you should know TV our username that was root it left up password as blank localhost as DB host so this file contains all the important information regarding our WordPress installation and these are the keys that automatically WordPress managed to manage to use in our in our vpconfig file so so I would say please subscribe my channel so uh, in the future videos I will be showing you how to create a full-fledged word working WordPress websites so till then have fun and take care bye bye and please don't forget to subscribe our channel you should know TV thank you